let's find out why that thing is surging like that. Alright guys, I'm sur Alright guys, I'm sure you heard this thing surging. Um, there's a number of reasons uh, why it could be doing that. A number of things could be causing it. Um, could be a bad spark plug. Uh, this is a twin cylinder. It's a V-twin. Uh, 22 horsepower, yeah. It's a 22 horsepower V-twin Briggs and Stratton. It's got the dual air intakes on it. One on each side. That does, when that blocks that that off, this sucks air in from the sides. Helps keep that cool. Um, could be a fuel delivery issue. Uh, surging like that, you know, maybe the pump, fuel pump's getting weak. The fuel pump is right here. It could be getting weak. The filter down here, which I think I may have one we can just go ahead and replace. I don't think that's ever been replaced. I know the plugs have never been changed um, since I've been with her, and she's never had them done. Um, the only thing I've done, I've put, I, I put new spindles, pulleys, belts, blades, uh, stuff like that on it. Uh, it seems to only do it after you warm it up, after it gets warm, operating temperature. But we're going to check the filter, uh, the, you know, the air filter. We're going to check it. We're going to check the plugs, go ahead and clean them. I don't have new plugs to put in it right now, but we're going to go ahead and pull them out, clean them. The other side, the uh, valves could use an adjustment. I hear them. Uh, they're... They're getting a little noisy. It does smoke a little bit when you start it up when it's cold. But I know what that is. That's the oil rings going bad. I'm going to have to ring it. Um, she's wanting to have another race. <laughs> she wants a rematch. So we're going to do that on a live stream probably this weekend. So I want to get this thing running good for her. Um, but I don't know. We're going to find out why that thing is surging like that so what I'm I'm pretty much just going to tune it up other than new plugs like I said I don't have any plugs we're going to go ahead and do the best we can to tune it up I'm not sure if I'm going to adjust the valves yet on the other side because I don't have a gasket or any gasket sealer to pull the uh, valve covers off um, we may we'll just have to see but uh, uh, we're definitely going to we're going to check this filter um, I, you know, it could be the pump. I don't think so. It's only doing it when it's warm. Could be clogging up on the air, on the air filter. I'm not sure. But the first thing we're going to do, we're going to check these plugs. That'll also tell us how this thing's running, because I know for for a long time, I would, if she would mow, she would have the choke halfway up. Well, somebody told her to do that. You don't run with your choke halfway on. So it could have fouled out a plug because she would do that all the time. I'd come out this thing and be black smoke would be rolling and be cutting out missing. Open the choke up and it'd be fine. Um, so let's pull the plugs first. See where we're going to go from there. That'll tell us a lot really. So hang tight. Let me get some tools out here. Let's get these plugs out of here. Alright. Go ahead and get this plug out. It's just a 5 8 I do believe. Yeah, just a 5 8 Wasn't very tight. I love this little ratchet. Uh, quarter inch and uh, 3 8 dry. Extends out. So, I love that ratchet. It's a Pittsburgh, I forget where I got it. Probably uh, Harbor Freight. Okay, see there. Come on. burning white 
kind of like on one side. It, it is, damn it, it is due for a set of plugs, but it's burning black on the other side. So, let's go around the other side. Yeah, it's pretty dirty in there, but I don't think that's going to be our issue. one wasn't real super tight either. And see this one's burning good. That's that's where it should be burning at. Just about like that. It's it's burning great. Okay. Uh, see this has got these crush washers on them. Alright. When you tighten these you're going to want to go a quarter turn to a half a turn past finger tight. That that wasn't the case with this. So let me get something. We're going to clean this spark plug up. Um, well, we're going to clean them both up. But looks like the issue's on that other cylinder. So let me get. I'm outside because it's actually cooler out here than it is in the garage. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, but the garage is a mess right now. Anyway, I got my bench full. So let me get some sandpaper or wire brush, and we'll clean them. Um, they say you don't want to use a like a wire wheel on your on your grinder, you know, like your bench grinder. You don't want. They say that, but I've I've done it hundreds of times, never had an issue. Um, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna get a piece of sandpaper maybe a little file and a wire brush and I'll be right back with you guys okay guys so this is what we're looking at here so I got a little file here get you down here where you can see a little better and I'm just gonna kinda clean that off there a little bit Get all that soot and everything off of it. I'm going to clean it all out real good, blow it out. I'm going to do that to both of them. Um, I got me some sandpaper here. I'm going to put that right in there. Just right in between that like that and I'm going to clean these up real good sand them off get them all looking real good the main concern is right in between that gap there um, get that all cleaned out I'm going to do that to both of them and I'll blow them out with compressed air then we'll move on to the air filter and see how it looks. I don't want to bore you with that because this is all I'm going to be doing. Okay. So, I'm not sure what the gap is on here. But, uh, I'm going to get, this, get these cleaned up and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. I'm just going to show you this one to show you how to tighten this kind of a plug with this crush washer. Okay, see that one's crushed a little bit more than that one see see that so one was tightened more than the other but we won't take care of that right now I'm just going to screw it in there that's hand tight now I'm going to give it a quarter to a half a turn Quarter feels good. Let's go a half. There's a half turn. And that feels really good and really tight and snug. So, right, I'm going to blow that out before I put that on. I'm going to get the other plug in, get these blown out of here, and then we'll come up on top. Alright, now, 
let's go ahead take this air filter out a lot of people call them air cleaners breathers whatever you prefer I have cleaned this before damn it but it's been a while what's going on with this one I may have to get a pair of pliers to pull up on that alright let me get a pair of pliers now sometimes These will actually pull up off the bolt. So, air compressor kicking on. Um, see, a lot of times they'll spin inside there and they'll, they'll actually pull up off there, but. Yeah, it feels like it's spinning. Sometimes you can squeeze it and get that bolt to turn. Which I usually do with a pair of vice grips that I'm going to go get right now. Alright, I've got a couple pairs of these. Um, this pair is an actual pair of vice grips. They're not in the best shape. But I got them, in, I got them somewhere. I forget where I needed a, a pair and so I just held on to them okay see I just felt that okay so it worked I just felt oh, come on now I remember why I don't use them that much I felt the bolt itself break loose so I'll show you on this other one again downside of here if that starts spinning if you squeeze on them with a pair of vice grips or pliers, it'll hold it'll hold it to the bolt and then you can turn it out. So let's put this back in so we don't lose it. And let's pull this off. Okay. It's looking pretty good so far. Till you get to that. That is very dirty. And it's very dirty down in there. See that? I mean, that's really no good anymore. So I'm going to blow this out with com compressed air. That could be an issue. Damn sirens. Idiots playing music next door. Get me demonetized. See, it's pretty dirty. So let me get this all blown out. Just gonna blow it out with compressed air and uh, this I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this I don't have any of that material so I may have to put it in without it for now so hang tight guys now this thing what I like to do with these is you know, the, the air's going in through there. It's clogging up in here. I like to try to blow it through backwards, but it doesn't really matter. So, some of these you can wash them out with water. I don't like doing that. So, I'm going to blow it out the best I can with compressed air. Okay, guys. Fucking neighbor over there is pissing me off. I just yelled at him. I said, turn it down a little bit. I heard, fuck you. Sorry, right, let's get on this filter. I have a filter here. But I don't think it's big enough. How that works is the fuel comes up into here and has nowhere else to go except through that paper filter to get out. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going 
take this filter out and I'm probably just going to blow it out with compressed air because the looks of the air filter from the looks of the air filter that's all going to get get new stuff probably going to end up draining the tank that's all going to get new stuff when I put new rings in it so Let me get my big gas can over here, and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and drain that out. Hang on a second, guys. All right, so so as good as that was was coming out of there, I really don't see an issue with it. But I'm going to take it off and I'm going to blow it through backwards because if there's any dirt in there, I don't want to force it up farther. I want to try to blow it out. I mean, I'm sure there's. You know, got to be something in there. Uh, all these years, you know, you can't can't not have any any dirt in there. See, these will give you. It tells you the flow on there. It says flow. That means you want it going from the tank up this way. Um, it's kind of cloudy in there, like it's had water in it. So I'm just going to blow this through backwards. Like this. And I'm going to blow it forward. Backwards again. Now, I'm looking inside of here. It doesn't look bad, but you know, we don't know what's inside that filter there. I mean, it, it's it's wide open so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on like I said this will get all new filters plugs everything like that when we overhaul the engine so I'm gonna put this back on there but if I do need one I've got this what you do on these uh, you cut like if if this ends too small you cut it off here and here or if you need a smaller end a bigger whatever you cut one end off or the other uh, it's a new filter I know it doesn't look like it but it is new it's never been used so what we're gonna do I thought I had a bigger one like this but I don't it's it's just like this but it's smaller um, I don't I don't want to restrict the fuel any you know what I mean so I know I'm getting in your way I'm sorry all right we're gonna put this back up in here just like that I'm gonna put that filter back in up here on top but I'm not going to use see it's it's like a two-stage filter um, I can't use the bottom filter because it's just too bad so I'm not going to I'm just going to put the big filter in it and we're going to go from there I'm going to clean this up a little bit more we're going to put gas in it we're going to see if we made a difference all right guys this is what I had to do I had, I had to scrape all that stuff off and blow us off real good what this is is a pre-filter it's sucking air up through here you can see up into here and then it goes sucks it up through here and that cover directs it down in to your intake so as you can see I mean this thing was doing its job but that's the best we're going to have right now so let's go ahead see how clean that is there let's go ahead and put this back on and we're going to start it up and see and let it warm up and see if that helped it all right we got it back together it may take it a minute to pump fuel up into the filter um sometimes you can go like this and get it to prime but we'll just see just back in here like it belongs all right, 
We're going to go ahead and choke it. And we're going to crank it over. Make sure everything's out of the way. Now I'm going to let this warm up, get up to operating temperature again. I'm going to let it run for 20 minutes at least, 25 minutes. Earlier I only had to run it 10 minutes and it was uh, surging. But I'm going to go ahead and let this run for about 20 minutes and we're going to see if we fix the problem. Alright guys, it's been running 24 minutes. but it's not 100% yet, you know what I mean? It is going to need new plugs and a new filter. Alright. Sounds pretty good now. better so once I put the the rings in it once I ring it I'll put new plugs it's all gonna be cleaned out I'll put new filters fuel filter air filters pre filter and uh, I think it'll be all right because I'm gonna hone the cylinders out too so I'm not not to be confused with boring them out I'm gonna hone them out put new rings in let them seat in so that'll be that'll be fun it's not it's not real difficult on this I've done these before but uh, it can be a pain alright guys so there you go thanks for helping me out on the tractor I appreciate it and uh, hope you all come back and check out our videos check out monkey 1000 awesome BXX32 check him out appreciate it guys Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now bye bye and take care <laughs>